Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Zos here coming at you with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And in today's video, guys, we are going to discuss a unit that I highly recommend if you do not have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta like me. Um, one of the best ways to do the Kid Buu Extreme Z Awakening is with an STR team running as many pure Saiyans as humanly possible. So, the, basically what we're talking about today is I'm going to go over here to events, 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 and as you know, Kid Buu right here is out. The physical Kid Buu event is here, and of course, super STR type characters as well as pure Saiyans. So, this morning when I was building my team to get ready for tomorrow's live stream, tomorrow night's live stream of me going through stage 1, 2, 30... I was thinking of a of characters that I'm going to run. So right now, this is my STR team. Of course, I'm going to run Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He is a pure Saiyan. He's also Rainbow Star. He's a beast. Going to run him. So, I don't know why Broly's on here. Why did I put Broly on there, random? Oh, yeah, because I was just messing around. He had, he <laughs> he's Rainbow Star, so I was just messing around. But, um, so, what I was doing, I went over here. I went down to purely strength. Went to Pure Saiyans, and I went Super Class, because, you know, Super STR. So, first things first, I need... So, basically, I was looking through and wondering, man, what units can I run here that I'm going to be having fun with? So, of course, you know, I got Super Saiyan 4 Goku as my leader. I'm like, okay, cool, yes, Super STR, perfect. Put my Rainbow Starred God Q, beautiful, awesome. My Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta Tanking Master... You know, always great. Put my Super Saiyan 3 Great Ape Goku because he links really well with either Vegeta and the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. The fifth unit, I was just putting Broly in there because he was Rainbow Starred, but I know, you know, he's not going to do anything. So I'm trying, I'm still figuring out that one right now. I'm thinking I'm just going to run you. Not really. That is a big dip. I don't know yet. I'll probably just run him because he's a support unit. I'll probably put some orbs into him eventually. But my final unit was this one. And this is a card I highly recommend nobody sleeps on. He's Extreme Z Awakening is live. He can go up to 140. And it's very, very easy to get him to 140, guys. Like, super, super easy. So, first things first is advanced leader skills. Of course, all type key plus 2. HP attack defense plus 50%. No one cares about that. Uh, is Dragon Fist Extreme. Uh, basically, causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. And then his passive is now Full Powered Battle, which is an updated version of it. Once it scrolls past again, I will be able to read that off to you guys. But defense plus 40%, attack plus 80% when HP attack is 30% or above, plus an additional attack plus 30% when HP is 50% or above. So as long as you're not getting hit, he's going to deal a lot of damage. And he is a pure Saiyan. He is on the pure Saiyan team, which is awesome. So definitely, definitely, if you have this guy, either Rainbow Star or even like two dupes if you need a, another unit on this team do not hesitate to get him done he is fairly simple all you have to do for the steps you have to do you go you just have to go back to his extreme z awakening the super saiyan 3 one which is agl and uses the resurrected warriors as the category and all you have to do is switch it to the level that you need the medals from so to do this, you first need 325 stamina. I did this myself this morning. It's 325 stamina. What you'll do with that 325 stamina is you start off, go to level 10. Super Saiyan 3 Goku Bronze. On this level, you get two bronze medals per victory. And it takes 15 stamina each. You need to do this six times. You need 12 bronze medals to get him through his bronze medals on his Extreme Z Awakening. That's 90 stamina right there. After you get that done, you then will go to level 20 to get the silver. Here it gives you four silver medals. You have to do this five times for a total of 20 silver medals. Takes 100 stamina. Next... You go to level 25 to get the gold medals. On this level, it takes 20 stamina. You have to do it three times for a total of 60 stamina. 
and basically gives you four medals a run. Awesome. Then, of course, the final level, you have to do level 30, which gives you the rainbow medals. You have to do this one three times for a total of 75 stamina, because it's 25 stamina each, and it gives you four medals each to give you a total of 12 rainbow. After that, you have a fully away, you have a fully rainbow, I mean fully rainbow, you don't have a fully rainbow star. You have a fully easy aid Super Saiyan 3 strength Goku, which I've tested, I have seen in action, he hits like a truck, but I will bring him up here so you guys can see. We will go run a random mission here with him. We'll go run, uh, we'll just go do a random story or something. Let me see if I can, we'll see if I can get him on rotation. We'll see if I can get him on rotation while I talk with you guys here, so... Um, I'm just going to go take off Resurrected Warriors. I'm just going to go Pure Saiyans, STR. Uh, Super Saiyan 4, Goku should be on the list. There we go. So I can run the same team that I'm going to be running with him. There we go. But this guy, I just don't know why we haven't thought about it. Why no, like, I don't know if anyone's thought about it. If they did, great. If you guys thought about it, let me know. But, like, I'm just going to try to see if I can get him on rotation here. If I waste stamina, I don't care. I'm going to be getting stones back anyways. I'm not even worried. Why did it go to my last... Mother... All right. But give me a second, guys. I'm going to go try to see if I can get him on rotation really quickly. So you guys can see what he does. And you guys can see that kind of power here. All right, guys. I'm back. We've got him on rotation, which is great. So we're going to go show you the power of this guy really quickly. Mine is rainbow starred. He has 20 crit and I think eight additional. And of course, you know, church of three dodge. So we're going to go in. Let's go see what he does here. Let's go see the kind of power this guy can max out at here. 162. All right, cool. So he links really well with super saiyan three go uh, Vegeta, which is awesome. But let's, uh, let's just grab these guys here. Grab those, and we'll just have Super Saiyan 4 Goku as cleanup, but I probably don't need it. So let's go. Extreme Z Awakening, Dragon Fist Extreme. And that was not bad. 1.4 million, which isn't bad. Now, again, he's going to deal increased damage. He's going to do a lot of damage doing the Kid Buu EZA because he is a pure Saiyan, as well as a at super str units so make sure if you guys have him consider going through and uh extreme z awakening him he's going to be a very 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 valuable unit for the uh kid boo extreme z awakening if you're not running a super saiyan blue evolution vegeta pure saiyans team i'm running a pure str pure saiyans team that's all i had to my name so it is what i have to do but as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure you guys hit that awesome like button down below. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more Dragon Ball Z content, as well as many other games, I am opening myself up to a lot of other games right now. And I've got a lot of cool stuff in the pipeline again, guys. I wish I could tell you, but I can't right now. But as always, this is Omnitoast. May the power protect you. And laters.